Hi everyone, my name is Chris Greenfield and I'm a firefighter with Central York Fire Services. I've been a firefighter here for eight years. Today I'd like to talk to you about the gear and equipment we use while we're on the job. To begin, I'd like to start with our boots and pants. As you can see, our boots and pants are already interlocked together. The reason we do this is so that we're able to get into our boots and pull our pants on quickly when we're responding to a call. Our boots are specific to firefighting. We have a vulcanized base rubber sole, reduced slip. Inside is a Kevlar shank and toe, so that if we're in an electrical situation, there's no chance of getting shocked. As well, the boots are made of waterproof leather to protect us all the way up past our calves for cuts and abrasions. As you can see as well, a nice large opening so it's easy for us to access. Our, boot, our pants have a reinforced knee, large pockets to store extra equipment, and large suspenders to help hold the pants up because they do get heavy when they're wet. Something else we also wear is our balaclava. Very similar to something you'd wear in the wintertime when you're going snowmobiling or sledding. This protects us from heat and smoke and steam while we're in a fire. As you can see, it's extra long, so that it comes down across the front of our chest and down our back and interlocks with our jacket so that we're fully protected. Our jackets and our pants are constructed the same. Both have three layers. The internal layer is our thermal layer, and this helps to protect us from the heat of a fire. The moisture barrier, which is found inside the thermal barrier, helps to protect from moisture leaving the body as well as moisture coming from the outside from the water we're using for, to reduce steam burns. The material on the outside is a nice woven material that helps to protect us against cuts and abrasion as well as dissipate heat while in high temperature areas. You'll notice a few accessories that I keep on my jacket. The first one I keep is my flashlight. Flashlight is designed to show through light smoke, also has some safety features as well that flash should I end up being in trouble. As well, my radio, which helps me to communicate with other firefighters on the fire ground. Final item that we use is our helmet. Obviously the helmet protects the head. Nice hard shell on the outside, adjustable visor to protect my face in different situations, and a badge to identify myself from other firefighters so they know who I am. The final piece of protective equipment I'd like to talk about is our SCBA. The SCBA is made up of three components, our cylinder, the backpack, and the mask. Each firefighter here at Central York Fire is given their own mask composed of a nice clear front, nose cone internally for a nice seal around the nose and mouth, and a large mesh back to help secure the mask to the face and head. The cylinder itself holds 4,500 PSI of air, which allows us about 30 to 45 minutes of workable time while in a fire, depending on how stressful it is. Large straps make it comfortable to wear over our shoulders as well as waist straps that attach it to our hips to help carry the load. The mask is connected to our regulator directly in front to make a nice seal to allow us to breathe. One last piece of equipment we like to use, especially in a fire, is our thermal imaging camera. The thermal imaging camera, also known as a tick, helps us to find hot areas, be it a human, a fire, or even just small smoldering areas within an actual building. As you can see, my body temperature shows in a thermal imaging. And even when I remove my hand, part of me is still there. Now that you know all the components of a firefighter, let's see what it looks like when we put it on. Hey everybody. So when we so, come down and we're responding to a call, we get 90 seconds to put all this stuff on. So we actually have to move in a hurry. So the first thing he's donning is putting on his flash hood which protects his ears and his neck. He's putting on his boots. Pants are already inside the boots for fast donning. He's doing all the equipment up, buckles, straps, coat. You'll notice he has a radio, which keeps him in contact with everybody, a flashlight. Zipped all the way up. He'll be protecting his neck with the lapel, he takes his hood off for donning of the face piece.
Mm-hmm. He'll put that on. He'll pull his flash hood up over his ears. So now you can see he's fully protected, other than his hands. He'll be putting the SCBA on. He'll make sure that's tight and comfortable. All safety equipment is on except for his gloves at this point, his helmet. Before he goes into a fire, the buddy system will check each other over, make sure everything's done up. There's no skin exposed. We're just double checking. He has all his equipment on. We can do a double check, make sure his air is on. We're scanning him, make sure he's safe. And then he would go on air. So this is a complete dressed firefighter. And when he turns on his self-contained breathing apparatus, it all goes through a self-check. It shows everything's been checked. Got a sticker that works off the pack as well. His thermal imaging camera is on and he's set to go. Thank you everyone for watching. Today we got to learn about firefighter gear with firefighter Gerard and Captain Crane. We learned about all the details of every layer that we have and how it protects us. And if you're interested in learning more or about our tools that we have on the fire truck, please let us know in the comments or give us a call. In closing, we'd love to talk to you a little bit about smoke alarms. We like to constantly remind people that they are not just a good idea, but it's also the law to have them. Smoke alarms are required on every level of the home and outside sleeping areas. They only last for 10 years, and we recommend that you test them once a month. In conjunction with that, it's so good to do fire drills at home. Practice fire drills when you test your alarms. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Stay safe. <laughs>